last week's winner. You're the one. In 1901, Fort McKinley was established in the areas that lie between Makati and Taguig. During World War II, it was the headquarters of the United States Armed Forces in the Far East and the Philippines' 12th Infantry Division. In 1949, it was turned over to the Philippines and renamed Fort Bonifacio. Thank you, Professor Robin Salazar. Ngayon, the port is still the place to go for good American-style food. At yan ang naging inspirasyon ni Chef Barry Picasso sa kanyang pag-resurrect ng Fort McKinley dito sa Bay Area. Ooh. Today, it's breakfast with an interesting fill and twist. Swak na swak dahil magpo-4th of July na, di ba guys? Yes. Get ready for fireworks in your mouth. And dito na si Chef Barry with Chef Alice Almeida and Chef Paolo Martinez. Welcome. Woo! Oh, Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Chef Barry. Nako, ito na. Ako guys, malapit ako sa Fort, nakatresa Philippines, so na may miss ko. So I want to know, ano naman po yung memories niya about Fort Bonifacio or Fort Itzel? Bakit ito ang maging inspiration niyo dito well, sa Fort McKinley? First Fort McKinley, I have no memories kasi hindi naman ako ganun katanya. Pero baka mo naman sa tetra. Take question. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I wanted to introduce kasi um, Filipino-American mm -hmm. historical tie mm -hmm. through our cuisine. So, yes, I have to say, habang nag-uusap kayo nita, I actually tried one of mm -hmm. your breakfast specials. It's so good. The mango, the mango, the the mango uh, pancake. Obviously, super American yan. Yeah. Pero yung invest na, how do you say, uh, pancake sauce, yung uh, mango. Iba-iba, may mango, merong buko, kalamansi. So, and you know what the color is? Ang ganda. I was trying the well, I'll move to the suman later. Yan mo yung muna mga pancakes. Explain the pilipil ang ano blend of yeah. the. Uh, Practically, it's a very easy blend because uh -huh. like Filipinos have a traditional flavor. It's very good flavors. So we just mixed it with the American side of things, yeah. like the traditional pancakes. Yeah. So the the outcome is very good. That's a good point. Wow. But then he isama yung mga mango flavor, yeah. buko flavor. You know, but I mean, kudos to you guys because I've never seen this before and it's so pretty. Like, it looks... It is. I think any kid who would see this will want to eat no, it early. That's the whole thing. You know, here in the States, there's a big um, number of second, third generation Filipino Americans who are... They're born and raised here, Filipino by heart, but yet when it comes to their... You know, they like their pancakes. Yung hinasanayin na nila is the pancake. Hindi na yung silog breakfast. So, yeah. so, at, so at Fort McKinley, we'll be able to to offer them pancakes and their silogs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let me just also say, I mean, we've got this great kind of fill am spread here. I know that looks like spam eggs. Yeah. 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 But the, let's talk about the dishes naman dito sa dakong, mm -hmm. yeah. sa dakong far right. Um, it doesn't look strictly Filipino. So is there another theme going on here? Yes, uh, this is uh, Asian. And it also is Asian. Okay. Yeah. And we have our um, garlic noodles. Okay, so like no like garlic noodles. <laughs> so this, this <laughs> normally comes on the side talaga or yeah. depending yeah. on... Uh, oh, yeah. uh, it's it's if you want more, yeah. yeah. That's that's yeah. Our, our secret sauce. Secret sauce. Yeah. You should try it. What do you call? I don't let you try it here. Actually, I will right now. So. Uh, last but not the least, over on the right mode. I think. And that is of course a uh, pad pie. Okay. Wow. wow. That looks like a mutant. That looks like a <laughs> monster burger. <laughs> what is bar. that? <laughs> this is our colony burger. Wow. The beef hamburger colonizes. Yes, so it's beef. stuffed with spam and cheese. So what? Well, what? Well, Lee tries your secret so, sauce, uh, which we will eventually oh, yeah, unravel yeah, later yeah, on. Yeah. Chef Barney, when is this? great spread going to be available to everybody mm -hmm. well um we're inviting everyone we have a grand opening on august 2nd mm -hmm. august 2nd there's going to be you know we're going to have um, a live band performers mm -hmm. and at the same time uh, um, a spread of our cuisine that's great so august 2nd mga kanation don't forget mark it on your calendar and only a number <laughs> Bye. Sabi natin yung mga tao, gusto ko sa surprise sila kung saan yung Fort McKinley sa matatagpuan. Kasi dati yung ano, di ba? Right. I'm sure lahat, lahat, na mga kanisyo natin, will remember Intramuros. Yun. You know, good memories of Intramuros. So now we just continue the good memories of Intramuros to 
Fort McKinley. Yeah. Okay, so for those who don't know, where in Chamorros is, pakiimbita naman sila. Okay, we are inviting lahat ng mga kanation to please come at Fort McKinley, located at 101 Brentwood Drive, South San Francisco. Okay. Ayun. Ayan. Teka, before we wrap it up, speaking about wrapping it up, yeah. you know, we, we, all, we all grew up with Suman. Yeah. Uh, sa Manila, when I was growing up, dip ko sa Asmukal, you know, super. Hindi isipin ng mga tao na Suman yan. Okay, this is Suman. <laughs> Kaya lang, shape ng square. Okay. And with ube halaya Ayon. in the middle. Grabe in tamo. tapos fried and then with mango caramel sauce. Yeah, and I was telling you earlier, it was the first thing I tried and Thanks to Ricky Sarmiento of InStyle Salon in Daily City for our host, hair and makeup. Seven victories.